Sorry about that, folks. We don't need to. Welcome back. I totally forgot that we didn't want to play that easily. We had to stop it. This is our second book. Honoring. Little mistake there, but don't worry, it happens all the time. As I said before, we're showing this now. As you can see, that little tiny little thing there. Tiny little thing right there. It happens all the time. We got most of this finished. Now, let's play this song. Sorry about the little mistake, folks. We have only have happy accidents. So here we go. They pushed the record too soon. That's why. That's here we go. Now, we have already shown you half of our book. And sorry about the mixed calculation, folks. What happened was that we accidentally, while we, we, we were putting our, our second book up there, we actually hit play too soon. That's why you, have, you heard a little bit of song there and stop it. Because we have to make sure we just see the music next. See what I mean? That was, a, that was a happy accident. We're kind of in a hurry on this one because sometimes, you know, our provider, we could, we could, they, they could be leaving soon. So we had to hurry. So, so don't worry about it. it. Happens all the time. But now, right now, we're going to, now, right now, we're going to talk about something different now. As soon as we're done turning off our computer. So right now we need to get ready to go because you know what you know you know how Eric is and this stuff. What we're gonna talk about now, we're gonna talk about how to protect 
your artwork. Now, taking into consideration, now taking into consideration, as you can see, we have this in the back. You always want to protect your artwork. And there are certain ways you can do it. You can always put it in a bag. If you have a book like this, you can put it in a bag. That way your stuff won't get wet. Also, make sure you put make sure make sure you have a bag that 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 that's airtight. Because some of this stuff gets wet in artwork. Water, water, and artwork don't mix. So 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 make sure you're Make sure you protect, and then it's airtight. Also, when you have one of these, no, let's take one of these out. I and mean, also, also, if you have a portrait like these, especially when you have a also when you have a portrait like these, and when you have a drawing like this, it's very important to put. Also, when you go on a trip, to bring back a portrait like this. Make sure it's well coated. I mean, some of this stuff, some of the water will get on it and will just ruin your, it can damage your camp, it can damage your drawing that, that, that somebody drew for you, drew of you um, when you're on vacation. So make sure it's not wet, because some of this stuff drawing will get wet, will get wet, they'll get, because this is like pencil and art and Draw art and color, colored like pencil and water and paper don't mix. They can just ruin it. So make sure it's in a protective, uh, protective um, thing like this. That way it will get wet uh, when it gets wet on this side. The inside can be protected. So when you do it like this, make sure it's in a protective like things like this. You get these at seaside. Get these to get those at seaside. So try not to follow yourself too much in big portraits. Because these things get wet. Make sure your your portraits that someone drew of you. Something like similar to this. And and similar to this. So make sure you your portrait is put sealed and protected sealed because it costs like almost up to 30 bucks to get to have someone draw, draw this of you so you want to protect it or else it's gonna like rain and, and stuff like that so so that would be all so that'll be all for right now so hasta luego